Hi guys, Rory here from Your Golf Travel. So anyone with a keen eye on the channel will know that recently we've been taking a look at the very popular golf holiday destination of the Algarve. Some of the courses, resorts, areas of that kind of region of Portugal which you guys will already be very familiar with. The likes of Quinta del Lago and Val de Lobo in the central Algarve. Villa Mora Resort where you can kind of enjoy the nightlife that the Algarve is very famous for. And then out towards the west, the likes of Lagos. Again, lots of great nightlife out there. And amazing golf courses like Palmares. But what if you're looking for something a little bit more relaxed away from the course? Something maybe a little bit more authentic. And that's where the lesser known area of the East Algarve in comparison of course to the central and west areas comes into play. Much like the rest of the Algarve there are lots of great golf courses out there to be explored by you guys and having been there very recently I can confirm and I've been there a couple of years back as well I can confirm there's a really nice broad range of courses, different styles, different feels, different levels of tests if you like. Courses that will appeal to high handicappers for example, uh, maybe golfers who struggle for a little bit of distance, places like Castro Marim where the main challenge is accuracy off the tee, uh, navigating the amazing slopes and elevation changes that the eastern Algarve countryside offers. Right, 144 left in. I can totally see why this is stroke one now. That tee shot is <laughs> challenging to say the least. You need a lot of left to right movement on it. And then the green is very well guarded as well by these trees on the right and water left. So yeah, total, total stroking next one obviousness now that I'm up here. Um, 144 left in into quite a stiff breeze. So I've got seven iron. Try and move it left to right to make sure I steer clear of that water. Yeah, and that's clipped trees just short. Oh, this is, yeah, strike one. Where? Stroke index one, so still, still a point, which brings me to 11 points through five holes. So, still one better off than handicap, which I'm really pleased with considering the fact that the wind's whipping and this course is quite tricksy with all these slopes. Sixth hole, again, elevated tee, looking pretty spectacular. I think I'm gonna have to move it left to right to avoid A, the trees on the left and the ones on the right, and also there's a bunker up there. So, left to right is perfect shot shape. So one thing you've probably noticed about Castro Marim so far is the length of the holes. Now, by and large, they're, there's no two words about it, they're short. Um, total yardage on this nine holes that I'm playing, the Atlantic nine, is about 2,750. So maxing out, if you extrapolate that to 18 holes, the course isn't even getting to 6,000 yards. And I don't see that as a negative at all. People like me, who've got you know a smidge of length, 
I can have fun whacking driver at a lot of these greens, getting close, testing my short game out. Whereas shorter hitters, higher handicap golfers, etc., etc., will really enjoy not having to reach for their, their long irons, their hybrids, their fairway woods for second shots into par fours, which you might find at a lot of other courses in the Algarve if you're playing off the back tees. So yeah, works well for plodders, works well for people who just want to give it a rip and see if they can get near the greens. And then at the other end of the spectrum to that, you've got the amazing Monterey, which offers the full blown, literally blown last time I was there, considering how strong the wind was when I was playing. It's Hoey, be up. Uh, that's Good line. Championship experience where if you play from the back tees, you're looking at well over 7,000 yards in terms of total length of the course. Obviously there are tees out there, I think there's five sets of tees in total to suit every level of golfer. But in general, the test at Monte Ray is very much your championship thing. Uh, it's very tough, it, but it's very enjoyable as well, where each hole is very much secluded from the rest of the course, which provides a really tranquil yet kind of atmospheric feel to your round. Um, really, really special golf course, and certainly one I'd be recommending if you're heading out to the East Algarve. That might well be my first taste of a Nicholas fairway bunker. Remains to be seen. I either bounce past it or straight in it. I'm um, hoping the former because the lips, as I said, look pretty damn high. That's going to be fairly punishing if I am stuck in that bunker. But just a quick word on Mr. Nicholas himself. Uh, this is actually a Jack Nicholas signature course. Now that is a bit different to just your standard. Jack Nicholas golf course. Um, we're just approaching the bunker now. Let me get back to you on that in a second. No, I'm not in. So I'm past it. It's hallelujah. So yeah, the difference between a Jack Nicholas signature course and your standard Jack Nicholas course, I'm pretty sure is that a signature course obviously bears his signature, and I'm pretty sure that means that Jack himself or one of his very, very trusted course designers will come and revisit the site every single year to make sure that standards are being maintained, greens are running smooth at a certain pace, etc., etc. Other golf courses, obviously he's got so many by this stage, he kind of just signs his name to it, I've designed it, job done, Bob's your uncle. But signature courses, he pays a lot more personal care and attention, and I'm pretty sure if they let standards slip, that signature gets taken away. So pretty much a guarantee of the quality on offer at courses like Monterey, which so far is kind of blowing me out of the water. It's I'm three holes in and I'm so impressed. Right, luckily I have flown the bunker, just. And got a decent bounce, it must have literally pitched just over it. So we've got 137 left into the pin. Wind off the left, and maybe slightly helping, so I'm gonna hit a bit of cut nine up the left, because this overhanging tree is definitely causing issues. Another one. 
And then kind of in the middle of that spectrum, you've got resorts like Quinta de Ria, which is home to two golf courses. You can kind of stay and play two courses, which is a very much convenient setup. You've got the aptly named Quinta de Ria course, which I played a few years back with Mark and Lockie, which takes you right down to the water's edge of the Ria Formosa. Really, really stunning golf course. Kind of very much resort golf. And like I said, challenge-wise kind of sits in the middle of Castro Marim and Monte Rey. Um, a little bit longer than Castro Marim, not quite as long as Monte Rey, and a little bit more friendly than Monte Rey as well in terms of if you're spraying it a little bit. As Coach found out, of course. Five, front pin. Matt's hitting a nine iron. Mm. Mm. Seeing this one. He's, yeah. he's had a birdie and he's now on it, Rory. Visualising stuff. Oh, he's, he's feeling zoom it. Zoom that, zoom that. That's out of bounds. <laughs> he's seeing it. <laughs> That's as far right as you can. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've also got the Quinta de Cima course, which I played recently. Um, I was there at the crack of dawn, so it's very much dramatic sky with the sun poking through the clouds, which eventually burnt off during the day. Um, which is, yeah, again, a nice resort course. It's a little bit further inland. Um, not quite as spectacular as Quinta de Ria, but as a package with two courses, that's a very, very good setup down there at Quinta de Ria, and one I would definitely recommend for anyone looking for that more relaxed holiday golf and the convenience of having the hotel and the golf courses all on site. <laughs> Full of other golf courses down the East Algarve as well, so it's fair to say that anyone heading east will definitely have some very good choice when it comes to playing golf. As I said earlier in the video, if you're the kind of golfer who obviously wants to enjoy these great golf courses and are looking for something a little bit more authentic, a little bit more laid back, the east is where it's at for you. traditional little Portuguese towns like Historic Tavira, you've got Castro Marim, Monte Gordo, handful of other ones where you can just relax, stroll the streets, perhaps attend a cultural festival, there's lots of those that go on throughout the year, shop at the market, sample traditional Portuguese food and wine. Um, as I said at the start of the video, just something a little bit more authentic, a little bit more Portuguese, a little bit more traditional Algarve. You've also got easy access to the stunning Rio Formosa, which is one of Portugal's basically, and certainly the Algarve's most stunning natural attractions. So if a day spent away from the golf course, maybe hiking, biking, maybe even boating through one of the most stunning areas of Portugal appeals to you, um, then certainly again, the east is just, yeah, east is where it's at. Of course, like Central and West as well, you've also got world-class beaches down in the east. And while they might be a little bit more difficult to access, most are accessible by boat. Um, they are just as stunning as the beaches Central and West. So yeah, guys, if this sort of Portuguese or Algarve golf holiday appeals to you, you wanna just enjoy yourself and relax away from the golf course in the evenings and just enjoy something a little bit more traditional, a little bit more authentic, the East Algarve is a definitely a viable option. And of course, we at Your Golf Travel have got loads of packages to amazing resorts, hotels, courses for you guys to enjoy. So if this sort of thing appeals, definitely hit me up in the comment section below. Drop me an email. I'm sure you all know my email address by now. But for those who don't, it's raymondo at yourgolftravel.com. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the little bell icon. Do all that magical stuff. And I will see you soon with more action from the amazing Algarve. <laughs>